Hey, Taylor, got two for you. First one is, what do you like about the fit uh, in this bill secondary? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, um, definitely a good fit, you know, throughout this whole free agency process. I think it just, you know, ultimately it came down to finding the right fit. Um, you know, I think everyone in, in free agency process is trying to find the right fit and the uh, right opportunity. And, um, you know, obviously uh, it's a very special team, very special defense, um, very special back end, you know, back seven. Um, you know, especially the guys that I, I will be joining the room in, in uh, Micah and Jordan, you know, obviously two, two great players, two former all pros have had great careers. So, um, you know, just a great opportunity to come in there and you know, contribute any way I can and, um, you know, just just pick them apart and, um, you know, le learn and soak up uh, uh, as much about the game as, as I can from those guys, you know, really excited about the opportunity. And then you mentioned the process, how much patience was required over the last couple of weeks for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think everyone's free agency process is a little different and, and unique in their own way. And um, definitely a lot, a lot of patience um, required throughout the whole process. But um, ultimately, I think I ended up in, in the right uh, situation, the right opportunity and uh, the best fit for, for me and myself and, you know, my future and, uh, you know, my family as well. Right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Hi, Taylor. Uh, Matt Prino from Syracuse.com. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, so if you could, like you, you mentioned the fit in, in Jordan and Micah, obviously, um, playing with them, something that you're, you're looking forward to. Can you talk a little bit more about that fit and maybe some of the conversations that you had with Brandon or, or Sean or anybody else about how you necessarily do fit in? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously those two guys are, you know, the guys and, you know, obviously they have very um, well-established careers and, um, you know, established themselves on this team and, um, you know, just finding opportunities um, where I can fit in and contribute, whether that's coming in on, you know, pass, pass, uh, pass down or, um, you know, building in different packages and stuff like that, you know, just any way I can help out the team, even on special teams, you know, I just... At the end of the day, uh, ultimately, you know, I just I just want to win and, you know, help this team out, help this organization bring home a championship and, you know, win games. So that's ultimately goal, the goal. Um, what were your impressions? I don't know how much you you talked to Sean coming in, but obviously the defense is going through a little bit of a, a identity change with him kind of taking over the play calling. What were those conversations like and what do you know about Sean McDermott? Yeah, I mean, I, I know he's a very defensive minded uh, coach, defensive minded head coach, and he has a um, long history of uh, coaching great safeties and um, at the position. And, you know, obviously, like I touched on with Jordan and Micah, you know, obviously those are, you know, two, two of the best safeties in the game. And in my opinion, you know, I respect their game um, tremendously and, um, you know, two, two great players, two great, uh, you know, people and, uh, you know, just excited about joining with them. And, um, you know, just how, how great uh, of a system uh, this is as, as a scheme fit for, uh, for a safety and um, someone like a skill set uh, like me, um, you know, with, with, with Jordan and Micah as well. Taylor, thanks so much. Welcome to Buffalo. Thanks, man. Taylor Rapp, Mookie Hawkins, Welfare Sports 1080, man. Welcome to Buffalo. Thanks, man. It's, it's awesome to be here. I'm pumped. Absolutely. So, I mean... What made Buffalo, I know you talk about the fit and all of that good stuff, but what made Buffalo such an attractive place to sign? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there was a lot of factors that, that came into play. Um, you know, I think as, as the free agency process and the, and the weeks kind of went by, um, as, as we were getting deeper into the free agency process, I think it just kept, kept coming back to, you know, finding the right opportunity, the, the, the right situation and ultimately the right fit for, for myself and, um, you know, my, my future, my family as well. And, um, you know, so it just kept coming back to Buffalo and, and how, uh, you know, how attractive this, uh, this opportunity and this fit was. Now, we know you the ultimate hot boy coming out of University of Washington. And sometimes, you know, getting picked from a team, the talent evaluation and philosophies don't mesh, you know. Uh, how would you rate the level of development your first four years and where do you see this Bills defensive staff furthering that development? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think I've grown as a player every single year of, of my collegiate career um, and obviously got drafted in the last four years spent with the Rams. And, um, you know, you, you, you like to grow and, and develop as a player every single year. And um, I think I've done that um, every single year I've been in the league. And 
you know, like you said, I'm, I'm looking forward to building on that and uh, developing um, from year four to year five. And, you know, obviously, um, you know, in the future as well. And I think this, you know, this this defensive staff, this uh, this whole entire staff, um, everyone in this building is, uh, you know, they're, they're just such great people. They, you know, they love ball. They love to come to work and, you know, just great people in this uh, in, in this building, you know, like that going back to um, recent your last question, you know, just about how, how great of a fit um, this place is, you know, it's just special people in this building. And, you know, that's, that's kind of what, um, you know, it played into the factor of me choosing me to be here as well. And, um, you know, I, I think uh, this defensive staff can develop me uh, tremendously. So looking forward to seeing the development. One more, if I can, have you spoken with Von Miller by any chance? Yeah. Yeah. No, he actually, he hit me up uh, right away as I, uh, I agreed to terms to the deal. So yeah, we, we spent some time in LA obviously together when, we, uh, you know, when we won the Super Bowl in I think 2022 or 2021 season. Um, but yeah, no, he's Vaughn, Vaughn's an awesome guy, man. I'm, I'm excited to be on board with him. He's still GMing. Welcome to Buffalo, my guy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate the time. Hey Taylor, uh, nine, uh, nine career interceptions. You know, how much pride do you take in, in your ability to be around the football in addition to those 23 pass breakups? Yeah, I mean, I, I think as any DB, you kind of pride yourself on takeaways, um, whether that comes in a forced fumble, uh, fumble recovery, pick, anything like that. Anytime you can take the ball away from the offense, I mean, that's, that's just a, it's just game-changing play. And so, I mean, I take pride in, you know, being able to turn the, turn the ball over. And, um, you know, obviously the, the guys here, this defense is, um, you know, very, very known for uh, takeaways as well. And, you know, the two guys in the room who, who I'll be learning from and, you know, kind of, uh, soaking up as much uh, about the game as I can and, and Micah and Jordan obviously those guys are you know notorious for you know their their takeaways and um, you know turn the ball over so they're, they're just ball hawks man I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. Thanks. What's up Taylor just one question for you for me um, Joe Dana is our new safeties coach. Have you gotten the chance to talk with him today? Um, or when you were figuring out this is a place that I want to go to and, and what have those talks been like? Um, what do you like about him as the safeties coach? We haven't gotten to meet him yet. So this is kind of our first year with him as well. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I think, um, as soon as, you know, free agency, uh, the process kind of, uh, kind of came about a couple weeks ago when it started, you know, he reached out to me and, you know, started forming a relationship and, um, you know, he's, he seems like a great guy, obviously very knowledgeable, um, great coach. He's been in this league for a while and, you know, coached some real good players. So I'm, I'm just excited to, uh, you know, get to work with him, and, you know, next couple of weeks when the off season program starts, you know, start learning the defense and, you know, installing all the little, uh, little bits and pieces of, of the defense and learn from him. And, you know, just like, I, like I said, you know, just super excited to develop my game with him.